The race to 5G continues. Verizon has just announced their first 5G mobile hotspot. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to share with you some news from Verizon. Uh, today, Verizon announced the MiFi M1000 um, mobile hotspot. This is Verizon's first 5G mobile hotspot. Uh, AT&T and Sprint, I've already brought 5G mobile hotspots to market, but this is still very, very early days in the race to bring 5G to market. So what is this M1000 and what makes it interesting and well, should you really spend $650 to be on Verizon's cutting edge? Hint, no. Hey, first off, what is the M1000? It is from Insego, the maker of the 8800L, and it is basically a slightly bigger, beefier version of the 8800L that is equipped with um, a Qualcomm X50 5G modem. So it has theoretically some really, really great 4G LTE performance. It's actually a CAT20 um, LTE modem, but then it has the 5G added to it. Um, in addition to uh, the typical USB-C port, it actually has Ethernet on the bottom, so you can share that 5G connection at full, full speed to other wired devices. But it gives up one of our favorite features of the 4G hotspots, antenna ports. So no more external antenna ports. It's a step backwards in that regards, but well, 5G and antennas are kind of a strange story anyway. Um, but that's what it is. It has gone for on sale for Verizon as of today for $650. You can get a little bit of a discount if you sign up for a two-year contract. But again, this is not something you probably want to sign up for. The reason for that is it is based on the Qualcomm X50 5G modem. This is the state of the art of 5G technology for mid-2019. But by the end of this year, the next generation Qualcomm chips that will be available, the X55. And on paper, they're very similar. The performance in core millimeter wave downtown urban 5G areas will be similar. But as the carriers roll out 5G to more rural and urban and suburban areas, um, as they spread the coverage out, they're going to start overlaying 4G and 5G onto the same spectrum. And the X50 will not support any of that. So this modem that you buy today, this hotspot that you buy, um, the M1000 that you buy today, by this time next year, will be obsolete and will not be able to connect to all this new 5G coverage that Verizon will be rolling out. It'll be limited to downtowns. So wait for the second generation of this device unless you really, really want to be on the cutting edge and able to brag to your friends about, hey, wow, I got two gigabit, two gigabit per second speeds on uh, cellular. Amazing performance, but wait. Now, what about the data plan that goes with this? So Verizon has brought out a new 5G um, consumer data plan for hotspots, and it is $90. $90 a month, and it gives you 50 gigabytes of, um, what they're considering 5G data before you are network managed, and then they might slow your speeds down. But this is a kind of a shift on how Verizon is doing is that they're guaranteeing that the minimum speed they'll slow you down to is three megabits per second in 5G areas. But almost all of the time, you're not going to be in a 5G area because the areas are still very, very limited, which means the data plan limits when you're in 4G areas are 15 gigabytes a month. That is not a lot of data. And once you use that up, you drop down to 600 kbits per second. So you drop down to really abysmally slow speeds. So unlimited data in 5G areas, network managed after 50 gigabytes. Um, when you're out of those 5G areas, it's really not a great data plan. So kind of not a great data plan, a uh, first generation device that is gonna be interesting, but better to wait until next year. That's kind of the wrap up on this and we will keep covering all these new 5G devices coming to market. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.